What's up, everybody? My name is Scott Paddock, and today we are going to talk about how to play more melodic solos. When it comes to soloing on the saxophone, or any instrument for that matter, you have all different types and styles of solos that you can play. Oftentimes, when we're talking about solos, we're thinking about bebop-type solos, where you have fast-moving eighth notes. But that type of soloing does not fit every style, so you need to be able to play something that is style appropriate for whatever type of song that you are playing. So today I'm going to show you four really simple steps that will make your solo sound a whole lot more melodic. So when I am talking about a melodic solo, I'm talking about playing a solo that sounds a little bit like a melody. For all of the examples today, I am going to be using the chord changes to the jazz standard All of Me. The very first step for playing more melodic solos is to diversify your rhythms. Diversify your rhythms. So in other words, don't just play all eighth notes or mostly eighth notes. If you have a melody, most of the time you're going to have longer, stronger, more important notes. So when you are playing a melodic solo, you also need to have longer and stronger notes. So you're still going to have eighth notes, but eighth notes are not going to be your main ingredient. You're going to be using your eighth notes to connect your longer notes. Here's what that sounds like if I just play the roots of the chord progression to all of me. When I play like that, you can hear the important notes. There is movement, I'm still using some eighth notes and there is definitely a lot of movement, but I have some longer, stronger notes and that is making it feel a lot more like a melody, even though I'm just playing uh, the root of each chord. If I did the same exercise that I played mostly eighth notes, when I play rhythms like that with mostly eighth notes, I lose most of the melodic sense to that solo. It just sounds like a bunch of fast moving notes, which can be cool, but not if you're trying to play a melodic solo. The second step is to bring out your chord tones and pay attention to your voice leading. If you want your song to sound melodic, then you need to really bring out those chord tones and pay attention to how you're moving from one chord tone to the next. When I bring out those chord tones, it really starts to sound a lot more like a melody because I'm giving you something to hang on to. I'm giving you a chord tone to hang on to, and I'm playing it as a longer, stronger goal note so you can really hear the chord movement in the solo. And when I play those notes a little bit longer, it just really brings out the melodic style. Now that doesn't mean that you can only play chord tones. You can play any note that you want, but you wanna make sure that your chord tones are being brought out and they're your goal notes, your stronger notes. That's what's gonna make it sound a lot more melodic. Step number three, and this one is really important. If you want your solos to sound more melodic, then you need to repeat stuff. Repeat some rhythms, go back and forth between some notes, come up with little ideas that you are playing and developing throughout your solo. That's what's gonna make it sound a lot more like a melody. Repetition and developing your ideas through repetition are the main ingredients when it comes to melodic solos. So if you want your solos to sound more like a melody, you need to have a theme that you keep coming back to. You need to have a rhythm or a set of notes or a lick that you use as your main theme for your melodic solo. If you're just playing a whole bunch of moving lines, a bunch of bebop sounding eighth note lines, you're not gonna have a melodic solo because your lines are doing this instead of creating a theme that you keep coming back to. If you're ready to take your improvisation to the next level or just start your journey, then I'd like to invite you to come check out the Scott Paddock Sax School. 
in my sax school, I take you step by step all the way from the beginning, just one note solos through playing over advanced chord changes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, click the link in the video description below. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. If you'd like to dive deeper into my saxophone world, come check me out at the Scott Paddock Sax School. Thank <laughs> you.